light cedar, 1400 meters. Races on from the 1400, a time to remember at the back of the field early on. Pine View ridden to respond, Monsoon Kenny and Freedom's Fire is tugging against the bit on the outside with the blinkers on. Count Marsh is moving around them, Valencia's on the inside. Red Rose are between them. On the outside, Fiery Duke's about five lengths off. Charge down. Then we drop back to a time to remember. On the outside, White Cedar and oh my word, it's Roy. Count Marsh is moving around as they go past the 750 meter marker. Freedom's Fire on the outside, Monsoon Kenny. Pineview's now dropped into fourth. Sonia Dor, Red Rose are together. Fiery Duke, seven, eight to make up. Valencia further back and charge down. Count Marsh at the top of the lane, skips away by two and a half. Freedom's Fire on the right hand side, Monsoon Kenny trying to come forward, Sonia Dor. Count Marsh being kept together at the 300 meter marker. Monsoon Kenny's trying to come forward. Anything out the pack. Fiery Duke's trying to close in late on. Count Marsh with 150 meters to go now needs the line because Valencia's coming home strongly. Count Marsh by a length. Valencia is charging down got there Valencia from Count Marsh Fiery Duke and maybe Monsoon Kenny Count Marsh was just looking to find the line but I think number one Valencia tagged them on the post well, the favorite backers are going to be sweating here because Count Marsh is clinging on. Valencia, one last stride. Got there. Number one, Valencia at 620. Count Marsh went clear and just that last 75 started to cry for the line was treading water. Valencia, Count Marsh, Fiery Duke, Monsoon Kenny. Then came White Cedar. A number of them were too free in the early stages and they never fired up. Count Marsh moved into the lead, but you could see he was absolutely walking the last 100 meters. They went a real good tempo, and Valencia, one off the right-hand side. But Asande Mkoli now says, let's go for Gareth Van Zayl. Count Marsh everywhere a winner, but the post. Number one, Valencia. For the governor, Sammy, Stephen Chetty and the team will get there. Look at Count Marsh, still a length clear with about four strides to go. But now Valencia eats into the lead. And as they hit the line, you'll notice that Carl Stradham senses danger. Valencia tags them back to the studio. Nice win from this individual, just getting there in the nick of time. Yeah, it was exciting. Thank you very much, Rahil. I thought an accomplished ride by Villa Sandy and um, big well done to him. Um, but uh, mostly to um, Stephen and Murti, um, a big thank you and well done. They've been patient with the source. They've trusted in him and they've given me all the time to, to do my best with him and uh, just rewards for them. He had finally cracked a draw on the poly. I'm sure you would have been excited with that going into this Appy race. One and a half kgs off the back and it seemed to be the right race for him. Yeah, it, it always helps to have a draw, although he's not the horse who can really utilize it best um, he was under a little bit of pressure to hold his position but um, again well done to Pilar and um, to the team back home things are ticking over nicely and a big well done how does the rest of your card look I think Kingsby Crystal must have a live chance um, and then Bay Breeze for the Cortez perhaps well done on this victory Gareth cheers thanks so much let's get Pilar Sunday in now, well done on this victory. You've uh, struck first blow in the Appy races, so well done. Uh, thank you so much. I just want to thank Mr. Fante for giving me this opportunity today. Obviously, I wrote the winner for him. Thank you. How do the race plan out for you? Because they seem to go a very, very decent tempo up in front. Uh, you know what? Uh, this horse is uh, 1,800 meter horse. So I told myself, you know, I'm going to keep him in the race. I'm not going to leave him alone because I know he's going to sleep if I leave him alone. And I had to start moving up before the bend. Obviously, when I asked him to get going, he sort of took time to get going, obviously. I, I didn't think that I'm going to get there, but eventually I got there. How does the rest of your card look? Can you uh, bag another happy race? Yeah, obviously, I can try, because anything can happen, you know, in these happy races. Some of horses, they, like, they sort of like enjoy the pace in the race. Yeah, I will try all my best. Would you be able to single out your next best for us? Nah, not, not, not now. 
hopefully we can see you on. Well done. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I just want to thank Mr. Fanzade for giving me this opportunity. Also, thanks to his owners for trusting me and giving me this opportunity, uh, as well as the academy. Thanks to them. Thank you. Excellent stuff, Pillar Sunday. Thank you. Let's get the owners in for a quick chat. Now, Gareth, Gareth did mention that you guys had to have a bit of patience with the source, but he's rewarded you. And were you guys scre uh, screaming down the roofs? Yes, Rael. I think it was just the last 50 to 100 meters that we were screaming and shouting and jumping. Yeah, but uh, we're happy with this win. I would like to say well done to Gareth. This horse was plagued with problems, and uh, we were actually uh, really scratching our heads whether we we're going to get another win out of him. So Gareth eventually pulled it through. It did some hard work on him, and I'm glad we got this win in. I'd also like to say well done to my partner Mukti. This horse runs in his colors, so we're pretty chuffed about it. Well done with this victory. Hopefully he can bag one more, one or two more for you guys. Yeah, we'll just see how he pulls up tomorrow and we'll leave that to Garrett. Um, we have to take it from there. And also well done to the young uh, rider. He, he rode a very sterling race. Thank you. Well done, Stephen. Thank you so much. There you have it. Uh, Gareth Van Zyl and uh, Pillar Sunday Mkoli have teamed up with uh, Valencia and he's won a nice race. Just getting there in the nick of time from uh, Count Marshall looked to be treading on uh, weary legs in the final stages of the race. But the final result for you, 1, 9, 10 and 2. Those are the numbers you need for the quartet.